This is the video solution to practice problem A that accompanies sample problem 2.3 on page 49 of your textbook. This problem asks us to calculate the average atomic mass of copper using the data that's given in the problem. Let's see what information we have here. We know that there are two isotopes to work with we know the percent abundance of each isotope and we know very precise mass of each isotope in AMUs. There isn't an equation in the textbook to calculate average atomic mass so we'll have to rely on common sense to do this one. An average mass for a set of particles like atoms in this case would be calculated by finding the sum of the masses of all of the atoms and then dividing that sum by the number of atoms in the sample. So imagine a large number of copper atoms, even more than you see here. Some of those atoms have a mass number of 63, those would be shown in green, and some of them have a mass number of 65, as shown in purple. And the question is, what is the average mass of all these atoms? Based on our percentages, we know that if our sample consisted of only 100 atoms, 69.17 of those atoms would be copper 63, and 30.83 of the atoms would be copper 65. We know that we can't have a fractional portion of an atom like 69.17 implies, but it's also kind of improbable for us to have a sample of just 100 copper atoms. A sample that we could actually see might contain millions of these atoms, so the percent values that we're given are, are appropriate for us to use in our calculation. There is a simplification that we could make before we begin, though. The simplification involves working with a, a rather artificial sample of one atom. In this sample, 0.6917 parts would be the copper 63, and 0.3083 parts would be the copper 65. All right. We can now find the total mass of all of the parts in this artificially small sample. We'll need to multiply the number of parts by the actual mass of each part. Another way to say this is that we have to multiply the percent as a decimal times the precise mass of each isotope or each atom in our sample. Our units at the end of each of these calculations is AMU, and the last significant figure in each value is the fourth significant figure based on our percentages, which were known to four significant figures. The total mass of the sample is the sum of these two values. If you added them all up, you would get 63.54564221 AMUs. Our addition was carried out with, a value, with values to the hundredth place as shown by the underlined 4. Remember, to find an average we have to divide by the number of atoms in our sample. Our simplification meant that we only had a sample of one atom so, we achieve the same average mass as we calculated in our sum. We do need to show that division, though, to show everyone that we're finding the average. Our final answer rounds to 63.55 AMUs. Let's just check this to see if it makes sense. Average atomic masses are recorded on the periodic table. So our value should be pretty close to the value that's shown for copper. If you look it up, this check indicates that our value is, is probably correct. I really recommend that you take some time to work through practice problem B in this set. It is a problem over the same concept, but you're asked to calculate percent abundance. It's a very important type of 
calculation to be able to carry out. When you've finished it, you can check your answer with the key on page 75 and please let your instructor know if you have any questions.